look at this. One style comes into play. I have not ever in my life driven something like this on a different level. So this is the Aston Martin Vantage F1 edition, which means that they spend a lot of effort to make it lightweight. You've got some bonded aluminium and compound in order to make it lightweight. And here some vents and carbon fiber as well as here on the side. In the front the bumper is laced with some winglets to distribute the air around the side and a big gaping front mouth just to get all of that air feeding towards the engine. And towards the center of the car it is pretty much the carbon fiber mirrors over here and the car has got a complete carbon fiber roof and of course that big black side skirt. And then we get to the rear of this Vantage F1 edition, of course, with a massive rear diffuser. I love what Aston Martin does with their crazy rear diffusers. Quad tailpipes, of course, in real metal tips. And now, let's have a look at the engine. Whoa, there she is with a nice big center strut over here, giving us a bit more rigidity. And of course, this four liter twin turbocharged V8 engine producing 535 horsepower and 685 Newton meters of torque, sending all of that power to the rear wheels only through an eight speed ZF automatic flappy paddle gearbox. And would you know, a complete carbon fiber prop shaft. So let's see what she sounds like. So over here, Aston Martin has given us an F1 badge over here, F1 badges on the side sills, just in case you weren't sure that you're driving an F1 edition. And they've laced the interior with a lot of Alcantara to keep it nice and light, although there are bits of leather and then of course, some lovely carbon fiber. You've got some buttons over here to manage your seats electronically and they are absolutely gorgeous. Again, a confabulation of beautiful Alcantara leather and of course, carbon fiber. What I really love about this car, apart from the fact that you've got these lovely big shifters, is that you got a proper boot. All right, so we're out in the F1 edition of the Vantage. Trying to get my mind around it. Are we in top sport mode here? Flick it into sport plus. Oh, there's even a track version. Oh. All right, there she pops into life. Let's go. Oh, first impressions. Difficult to say, it feels small and nimble, probably is, but then the grunt from this motor. Oh, listen to that. Seems to be transmuting a bit of a stronger, more powerful message. And it is, it's more powerful than the standard one, this F1 edition. Oh, it goes frick and goes like stink. <laughs> 535 horsepower at our disposal notable only on the rear tires 685 newton meters of torque and you feel that you can really drive this car low down in the rev range and there's plenty of torque to be had once those turbos spool up there's even more to be had up in the rev range <laughs> driving it through this town at lower speeds. It feels subtle, nimble, steering very direct, not too stiff, not too soft, the way you want it. The ride itself 
is smooth, even in track mode. It's not unbearable. As a matter of fact, I'd love to say that it's actually quite good. It almost feels like there's more noise coming from here, whatever there is, than there is coming from the exhaust at the back. Up in the rev range when the turbos are spooling, then of course she's really becoming alive. Ooh, there the F1 style comes into play. I don't have that big rear window. Uh, I don't have that big rear wing at the back giving me extra downforce. And I can feel that there's a little bit of looseness at the back, but it's more playful than it is unpleasant, to be honest. The higher this engine spins into the rev range, the bigger the smile on my face. And we're not even going ballistic speeds. I mean, we're out here on the countryside in Bavaria. But it's playful. This car honestly gives you the sensation that you can play with it. I think if I dare to be bold enough to switch off the traction control, then we'll see a whole different ball game as well. Nicely around the corners, turn in very proper. Oh, that V8 pouring up there. Super, super nice. Carbon ceramic brakes, imperative if you want to make sure you stop properly. We're going to get into the other Vantage, of course, and that is the, uh, the GT8. Now, if you guys want to see what the uh, GT8 feels like, why don't we just get into it and see? Let's go. get to this over here the GT8. GT8 is basically derived from the GTE which is a race car but this is now street legal so you can drive it on the right. <laughs> Again, Aston Martin have gone two lengths in order to make this quite lightweight and they've used a lot of aluminium and carbon fiber, especially in the aero package on this car, which there is a lot of. If you look here in the front, huge multi-level <laughs> splitter in the front and also this intake over here surrounded with a beautiful carbon fiber piece. Also love the fact that you've got some air vents over here just to get rid of the hot air in there. The center of the car, again, mirror caps, just like with the other Vantage, you have a full carbon fiber roof and it's just calling us towards the inside, which we'll get in a second because there's also a lot of carbon fiber. But one of my favorite pieces, that huge side skirt in carbon fiber, especially with the red, looks fantastic. Towards the rear, you can hardly notice this very small little wing over here. No, joking. This is a massive in carbon fiber, of course, offering downforce for this version that is meant to be used on a track. Of course, there is a massive carbon fiber diffuser, which I have to say, Aston Martin just have done a fantastic job over here again with some struts giving us a bit more rigidity keeping the structure and of course because of that hugely powerful 4.7 liter naturally aspirated v8 engine that revs up to the sky and offers us 440 horsepower that is sent of course to the rear tires only via two possible gearboxes one is a seven speed flappy paddle gearbox but in this case thank the lord it is a six speed manual so i can't wait to go and take that out for a drive the car drives the rear wheels only well that's going to be quite exciting <laughs> That 
isn't proper, then I don't know what is. But what is proper is that interior. So come have a look. This is the interior of the GTA. It's very minimalistic and of course they've used all Alcantara because Alcantara weighs a lot less than leather. Lovely what it looks like in here. And of course that six speed manual gearbox, which as a matter of fact, we have to go and drive to see what it's like. Listen to this. This is the thing that great stories are made of. Oh, that titanium exhaust, just wanting to sing his favorite song. This car just knows one song, and that's happiness. <laughs> Wow, Aston Martin with the GT8. Thank you very much. There's so much going on in my little pee at the moment. Wow, naturally aspirated, 4.7 liters displacement in a car that can attack a meteorite and win. I'm excited because that car is going to move to the right, which means for the very first time. What the heck? <laughs> this is not quick, folks. It's not quick. No, actually, it is quick, but it doesn't feel that quick, to be honest. No, sh I'm talking rubbish. It feels lightning fast. What I'm trying to say is it because. Just how fast you're going. Well, there's nothing about this car that wants you to be gentle with it. It invites you on a date and the location is restaurant cage fight. It honestly wants to have a bruise after your engagement. <sighs> well, you're gonna have a bruise. <laughs> He said so. <laughs> wow. Yo, this is something else. Yeah, it really almost begs to switch off the traction control. Four, six, seven. Oh, it'll probably go all the way to eight if I dare it to. I didn't check. There's nothing like a red line because I think it doesn't bother with red lines. The only red line you've got is in your mind. This is so good. No heck, I'm doing a short drive with this, Josh. Forget it. Wow, listen to that. I have not ever in my life driven something like this on a different level. Oh yes. <laughs> there we go. Oh. oh, and she just goes in every single gear. And these gear ratios are long, to be honest with you. In every single gear, she just goes. Oh, that's where the iron brakes really come into play. The wing should do its job as well. You gotta trust when you drive this, I'm tempted to do left foot braking. But honestly, that wing is solid. Wow! Just something so impressive. Look at this turn in. Unbelievable. I don't know what that GoPro is doing with the noise at the background, but I'm sure it's bathing in it as much as we are. <laughs> are you going around here in third gear? 
you could be doing with a little bit more in the rev range but the ratios are so long oh, and the roads are so narrow <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Let me know which one of the two. Has, no, actually, don't bother because I know you'll take this one. Um, <laughs> thank you to uh, Saturn Crew for this experience. If you guys want to see some more Aston Martin videos, drop us some comments down in, in, in the comment section. Just let us know. And um, yeah, also let me know what you think about this car because I hope I was able to transmute just a little bit of that excitement. Until next time, thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on Instagram or on TikTok, me personally, at Beyond the Coke, otherwise Novi Tech Group. Thank you so much. And uh, go and check out uh, Saturn Cruise page as well. Very, very cool. This is, this is, this is honestly, it's up there with some of the best things I've ever driven. Honestly, it is. Hallelujah.